G'day guys, welcome to episode 66 of Learn That Solo. We've got a special request from Samir from India. Hey buddy. Uh, we're going to be looking at Mahakali by dissection. Let's take a look. Excited. Uh, we just got to talk about the tuning, which is that sort of children of Bodom, all that remains, D standard tuning, which is D, G, C, F, A, D. So get yourself a tune and we'll get started. Right, guys, let's look at the first section. I'm going to start off with two bends on 15 of the second string. And then we're going to go to 15 of the first string to start off this kind of pentatonic -y run. So I'll play that for you. Let's go through that slowly. I'm going to start from 15 of the first string and then go back to 12. Now, as soon as I hit the 12, I want to do a hammer on to 15 and pull off back to 12. Okay, and then it goes... So after I've done my hammer on to a pull off, I go to 15 of the second string and then back down to 12 of the first. And then at the end of that, I want to add two more notes, which was 15, 12 on the second string. Let's put the two bends in front of that now. Okay, the uh, second half of that will go. So I've got to pull off at the start of this uh, little phrase and then the rest of it's picked. So the start of that, I've got to pull off from 15 to 12 on the second string. And then I've got to 14 of the string above. And then go back down to 12 of the second again. And then I'm going to go uh, 14, 12 twice on the third string and then resolve that on 11 of the third. So it goes... all together thus far. Okay, and we work into the next part, which is this. So the start of that is very straight triplets. We're going to do four triplets before we get to this... the bendy part. So uh, we'll start from 14 of the 4th and we'll just get these triplets out of the way. The first one goes 14, 12, 14 on the 4th. Then I go to 11 of the 3rd, 14 of the 4th, back down to 11 of the 3rd. So back to back. The third one goes 12, 11, 12 on the 3rd string. And the last one is 14, 12, 14 on the 3rd string. So I'll do those back to back with a break in between of them. A bit of jolly swing. Okay, then we have a look at this last little chunk. So what I've got here is two bends from 14. I go up and back on both of them. Sorry, the first one's just straight up and the second one we want to bring it back down and then pull off to the 12 on the same string. So it's just up, up and back, and then I pull off to the 12. And then the last little bit I do there is I'm going to go 14, 12, 11 all regular notes there on the third string and then resolve that on 12 of the four. So. Let's try the whole thing from the start of this section now, just a little slower. Right, let's have a look at the second section. It's going to start off with this little phrase. What I'm doing there is I'm going 11, 12 on the third string, and then my pinky comes over to 15 of the second. And then with my pointer finger, I'm doing these two notes. I'm going from 11 to 9 on the third. And then I want to jump from 9 of the third to 12 of the second. And then I want to do 11, 9, sorry, 12, 11 on the third string. So I go. different fingers if you want. So from the top. Okay, then we go 
onto this legato section. So for the first uh, four strings that I'm working with here, from the sixth string to the third string, I'm only picking one note a string and doing sort of two hammer-ons. There should be three notes a string with only one pick. Then I get to the second string. I'm picking all those notes. So let's have a look at these. Working straight down what would be in standard tuning, I guess sort of like a C lid in shape. Not too ridiculous. I'm going uh, 8, 10, 12 on the sixth. 9, 10, 12 on the fifth. Same on the third. Fourth rather. And then when I get to the third string, I'm going 9, 11, 12. So from the top of that a bit slower. It's got a bit of a bounce to it as well. And then when I get to the second string, I'm picking all these notes. I go 10, 12, 13, and then back to 12 again. All right, let's try the whole thing from the start of the second section. Okay. And then uh, what comes after that? That's it. So what I do here is I play uh, 12 of the first, uh, sorry, the second string, and then I do a quick tap to 17 of the second string. And then as soon as I pull off that tap, I'm doing a hammer on from 12 to 13, back to 12. Okay. And then I want to go to 14 of the third string, and then back down to 12 of the second. And then I do a pull off from 14 to 12 on the third string. So it goes. Okay. And then from there, I do a hammer on from 12 to 14, pull off back to 12. You notice that I'm just working with triplets and it's all on the same string and I don't necessarily need to pick that again. Your hammer-ons, your pull-offs and your slides should carry that without necessarily needing the picking hand again. So we had from that 12, hammer to 14, pull off to 12 and then slide to 11. Okay, and then from that 11, hammer to 12, pull off to 11 and then slide to 9. And we hammer on from 9 to 11, pull off to 9 and then slide to 7. Okay, then from 7, hammer to 9, pull off to 7, slide to 5. And then from 5, hammer to 7, pull off to 5 and slide to 4. So we go all a little bit slower. Okay, and at the end of that phrase, I've got a slight bend on 7 of the second string. So one more time. Let's go from the start of this section now. A little slower. Okay, the third section is going to start with a very gradual bend on 14 of the first. And I go back to 12 of the first and then want to go to 15 of the second. Okay, then we're working to this phrase. Let's slow that down. I'm going 14, 15, 17 on the first string. And I've got hammer on from 15 to 17, pulling off back to 15. And then I want to hit 14 again on the first string. So I'll play that a little bit slower. And then after that, I want to go. So I'm playing 17 of the second string into 19. And then 15 of the first. Sort of go. Let's go from that slow bend on 14 again. Okay, and then this part here. If we were in standard tuning, this would kind of be an E minor shape. So we're just working with a very simple arpeggio idea. Initially, I'm doing a pull off from 19 to 15 on the second, on the first string rather. And then I go to 17 in the second. And the next bit is just working down a straight arpeggio. So that's going 15 at the first, 17 at the second, 16 of the third. Back to back. And on the recording, the vibrato, the crap out of that uh, 16th fret of the third string. So give that a delicious vibrato. So let's go from the start of that section again. Okay, after that, I do a hammer on 
on from 16 to 17 back to 16. And I go into this little diminished arpeggio thing. So with the start of that, I'm doing a pull off from 17 to 14 on the third string and then going to 16 of the fourth. Okay? Now the next bit, those three notes I sweep. So I'm hitting 14 of the third, 16 of the fourth, and then 18 of the fifth. Hopefully that makes sense. After that, the, um, the arpeggio on the way up when we're ascending is a lot slower. So what I'm doing here, um, after I've done that little sweepy thing, is I go... That's starting from 16 of the fourth string. Now this is essentially the same two shapes twice. I'm hitting 16 of the 4th and then 14, 17 on the 3rd, okay? And then the next one is 16 of the 2nd string and then 14, 17 on the 1st. So it goes... Okay, so from the start of that it goes... At the top of that arpeggio I go 14, 17 like we had before, but it goes straight to a bend on 19. Just a small semitone bend up and back. And then at the end of that, I want to do a hammer-on from 17 to 19 with a pull-off to 17. And then at the end of that, I'm going 14, sorry, 20, 19, 17 on the second. One more time, a little slower. Okay, let's try uh, the whole section from the start. section we're going to go into this phrase now initially this really really tripped me out so you've just got to be waiting for the offbeat of that one so one a little bit after that let's go through the notes a little slower I want to start from seven of the fifth string hit that twice and then go to five of the fourth and I go back up to seven of the fifth string once and then go to nine of the fourth and back up to seven of the fifth string again and I want to jump to 7 of the 3rd string and give that a little vibrato. Sorry about the silly knot, I'm just thinking out uh, in my head. Do that first beat, get it on that off beat. And then after that we go into this. So what I'm doing there is a semitone bend on 7 of the 2nd string. Bring it up and back, pulling off to 5 and I'm tapping 12 on the same string. Okay, after I've tapped that 12, I get my ring finger back down, or whatever you've got available, back to 7. So when I pull off, there's a 7th fret waiting for me. And then I want a vibrato 4 of the 3rd string. Okay? And then after that, I go into this. What I'm doing here is I'm playing 5 of the 2nd string twice, and 5 of the 1st. And we keep returning to that 5 of the 2nd string, so it goes... Then 5 of the 2nd string again, and then I go to 7 of the 1st. And then I go to 5 of the 2nd string and 8 of the 1st. And then back to 5 of the 2nd and 7 of the 1st. Now from this one, we kind of work our way up. So from 7 of the 1st string... I'm playing 7 of the 1st, 5 of the 2nd, and then 7 of the 5th. It's a pretty big string jump, but it sounds pretty cool. Okay, so let's go from the start of this section. Then after that we go into this. Okay, this is nearly completely diatonic. It's very kind of bow to me, this shape. Um, except we're just not starting from the pointer finger. So I'm starting from 17 of the top string, the sixth string, with my middle finger. I hit this note twice, which is a little bit strange, but after that it's sort of just a straight diatonic scale. So I do two 17s and then a 19. And then on the fifth string I go 15, 17, 19. And then when I get to the fourth string, I go 16, 17, 19, and also do that on the third. So from the start... Okay, then when I get to the second string, I want to go 17, 19, 20, and also the same on the first. So, from the top of that phrase. 
So very sort of diatonic. As soon as I hit that 20 of the first string, I just want to reverse back to 17 on the second string, just using those notes of the scale. Sort of go... Okay, so from the start of that phrase again... Whoops. And at the end of that, I've got a big bend on 22 of the first string. So let's try and put it all together. And that is the Mahakali solo. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you all real soon.